In 3.1, we learned about angle relationships and triangles. So we learned about all of the different theorems um, in relation to the triangles that we're going to be talking about. And then we did some example problems, but these are different because we're going to be talking about word problems. So it's a little bit more application um, using words as opposed to diagrams. So the first example says, in a right triangle, the measure of one acute angle is twice the sum of the measure of the acute, other acute angle and 30. Find the measure of each acute angle in the right triangle. Okay, that is a mouthful. Let's break it down. First of all, it says in a right triangle. Anytime in geometry specifically, um, they're telling me information that I can draw out, I'm going to draw that out. So I'm going to draw a right triangle, which from last time I remember is a triangle where I have one 90 degree angle. So that's how I'm going to denote that. I'm going to use that symbol to show that it's a 90 degree angle. And I have two angles left over. So I'm going to call that the first angle and the second angle. The first angle is always our reference angle. The second angle is always the one that they tell us information about. So they say the measure of one acute angle is twice the sum of the measure of the other acute angle and 30. So they're using the other acute angle as a reference point for my um, one acute angle. So they say, like I said earlier, the first one is always going to be the reference point, and the second one is the one that you're going to be given information about. So I'm going to call the first angle X, and I'm going to use X now to set up the other acute angle. So it says twice the sum. Well, I'm multiplying the sum of two things by two, which is why I need to put the sum inside parentheses. Well, what is it the sum of? The other acute angle, my reference angle, and 30. So that's how I set that up. And then I have my equation to set up. So it says um, that in my right angle, in my right triangle, excuse me, I have these other two angles. Well, I know from the triangle sum theorem that every triangle has 180 degrees. So I can say 90 plus x plus 2 times x plus 30 equals 180. I could have also used the right triangle theorem, which told me that the sum of the other two angles are 90 degrees, or I can set it up like this. Either way is 100% correct. And now I'm going to go ahead and solve. You need to be pretty comfortable with solving equations at this point. If you are not, you've got to come to tutoring. What I want you to do is pause this video and see if you are able to solve this equation correctly and then unpause and see if you did it right. If you did everything correctly, you will have gotten x equals 10. If you didn't get it correctly, then pause the video and make sure that you're able to understand the steps that I took. I'm not done though, because it didn't say solve for x. It said find the measure of each acute angle in the right triangle. You need to understand that I'm not able to get those angle measures until I know the value of x. And now that I've gotten the value of x, I can substitute into my measures and find my final answers. So I know that the first angle is x, which means the first angle is going to be equal to 10 degrees. The second angle, on the other hand, I'm going to have to go substitute and say 2 times 10 plus 30 and simplify that, which is going to be 2 times 40. So I can say the second angle is equal to 80 degrees. Now, I actually took the long way to get to that answer on purpose. Um, and that is because this is going to be a way for me to check my work and make sure that um, my setup is correct. Because if you notice, 80 plus 10 is 90. If I had gotten something other than 90, I would know, oh no, I messed up somewhere. Let me go check my work. We're going to do two more examples. This next example says, in triangle ABC and triangle DEF, measure of angle A is equal to measure of angle D, and measure of angle B is equal to measure of angle E. Find the measure of angle F if an exterior angle at A measures 107 degrees, measure of angle B is 5x plus 2 degrees, and measure of angle C is 5x plus 5 degrees. Okay, they gave me a lot of information, but just like before, I'm going to go ahead and start by drawing my diagrams. Since they did not tell me what type of a triangle 
triangle ABC is, nor did they tell me what type of a triangle, triangle DEF is. I can draw it however I want. I can draw an isosceles, I can draw a scalene. Um, it's unlikely to be equilateral because I see that 107 degrees and that's probably not gonna happen. But I'm gonna just go ahead and draw it however I want. Okay, and I'm gonna call that triangle, triangle A, B, C. Now I'm gonna draw another triangle, triangle D, E, F. It's a little bit bigger, not on purpose, but it's all right. Triangle D, E, F. Because what ultimately matters are the numbers that I put in there. It doesn't really matter what my diagram looks like, but the better your diagrams, the easier your work is going to be. So they tell me that the measure of angle A is equal to the measure of angle D. So I'm going to mark that on my diagram. I'm going to say measure of angle A is equal to measure of angle D. So I'm going to give them the same markings. And I usually like to put tick marks because it's easier for me to put tick marks than several arc um, symbols. And remember, tick marks indicate congruency. They also tell me that the measure of angle B, so two tick marks this time, is equal to the measure of angle E, two tick marks this time. Well, they also tell me that the me find the measure of angle F if an exterior angle at, at angle A measures 107. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a question mark right here, because that's the one we're looking for. Measure of an exterior angle at A measures 107 degrees. So that means I have an angle coming off just like this on A, and that angle measures 107 degrees. Measure of angle B is 5x plus 2 degrees. Let me draw an arrow. And measure of angle C is 5x plus 5 degrees. Okay, they gave me a lot of information. And what I would do right now is I would open up my 3.1 notes so I can see, okay, what information do I know? I've got an exterior angle, so I would definitely be looking at the exterior angles theorem. But notice I've got two pairs of congruent angles, which means I'm gonna also be looking at the third angle theorem. And the third angle theorem states that when you have two angles that are congruent to, two angles of a triangle that are congruent to two angles of another triangle, then the third angles must be congruent. So I know that this angle right here, angle C, I'm gonna put three tick marks, has to be congruent to angle F, three tick marks. Even though I know nothing about angle F, I do know something about angle C, and angle C and angle F are congruent to one another. So I can actually go ahead and say this is also 5x plus 5 degrees. Now, there's no way I can find the measure of angle F without finding the value of x. Now, if you look at the first triangle, triangle ABC, they gave me more information. They gave me that exterior angle of 107 degrees. You're going to look at your notes and say, okay, what do I know about exterior angle theorem? Exterior angle theorem tells me that the measure of this exterior angle here is equal to the sum of the remote interior angles. The sum of that angle and that angle right there. That's a very, very handy theorem to have. So the equation that I'm gonna set up in order to solve for x is 5x plus two plus 5x plus five equals 107. Just like before, pause the video, go solve for x, and make sure that you did it correctly. If you did it correctly, you will have gotten that x is equal to 10. However, I am not done. It says find the measure of angle F. And I see that the measure of angle F congruent to measure of angle C are both 5x plus 5 degrees. So all I have to do now is substitute. I can say, measure of angle F equals 5x plus 5, and I'm gonna take this 10 and substitute it in right there for x. So I can say measure of angle F equals 5 times 10 
plus 5, which is 50 plus 5, 55 degrees. Alrighty. And finally, the last one says the angle measures of a triangle are in the ratio 3 to 4 to 3. Find the angle measure of the largest angle of the triangle. When it tells you that it's in the ratio 3 to 4 to 3, that means each of those angles has been multiplied by some value where they have that same relationship. So, I'm going to go ahead and draw a diagram. Again, again, they didn't tell me what type of a triangle I have, so I am going to... Actually, they did tell me what type of a triangle they, I have. They tell me 3, 4, 3, and that tells me two of those angles are congruent. So I know that this angle is congruent to this angle. Okay? So when it tells me a ratio of 3 to 4 to 3, I can say this angle is 3x and this angle is 3x because they're both being multiplied by the same value. And then this angle right here has to be 4x. Well, I'm going to use triangle sum theorem again and set up my equation. 3x plus 4x plus 3x equals 180 degrees. And then again, I'm going to go solve for x. Now that I know that x is equal to 18, it says find the angle measure of the largest angle of the triangle. I could go absolutely substitute 18 in for all of my x's, but if you are going to think wisely and use your number sense, you'll understand that the largest angle is going to be the angle where I have an angle measure of 4x. So I can say 4 times, well let's go ahead and label, largest angle is 4x. So I can say 4 times 18 and 8, 4 times 18 is 72 degrees. And that's all I have to do. If you've got any questions, be sure to ask during class or during tutoring.